This video is about the formation of the solar system based on the accretion model. A supernova is an explosion that takes place at the end of a star's life. After a supernova explosion, dust and gas shoots out into space to form giant clouds called nebulae. Over time, these nebulae may collapse under gravity and eventually go on to create new stars and planets. To make a solar system, we need three main items, a cloud of dust and gas rich in elements, gravitational forces to pull matter together, and a rotating accretion disk. The gas in a nebula is mostly light elements such as hydrogen and helium gas, whereas the dust is a mixture of heavier elements such as metals and simple molecules like water and methane. The distinction between light elements and heavy elements will be important when explaining the difference between the formation of the inner planets and the outer planets. Our solar system formed from the dust and gas ejected by a supernova. As particles began to clump together, gravitational forces became stronger and pulled the matter inwards. As the cloud collapsed, it spun faster and faster. All the spinning and collapsing led to the formation of a thin, rotating accretion disk. Accretion simply describes the process of small particles gathering into larger objects under gravity. Most of the dust and gas remained in the centre to form the sun. The dust and gas in the accretion disk formed the planets. The whole process of forming a solar system takes at least 100 million years. It can be hard to explain why a spinning, rotating cloud in space spins faster as it collapses. Try to imagine an everyday scenario such as sitting on a spinning chair. When you stretch your arms and legs out, the chair spins slower. When you tuck your arms and legs in, the chair spins faster. This is what happened in the cloud. The inner planets are small and made from materials with high melting points, such as rocks and metals. This is because the temperature was much higher in the regions closer to the sun. In these hotter regions, heavier elements would have been solid, whereas lighter elements would have been gaseous. For accretion to take place, elements have to be solid. This is why only the heavy elements could clump together nearer the sun. In the initial cloud, the concentration of heavy elements would have been extremely low, this is the reason the inner planets are small. As the sun began to radiate energy, any leftover gas and dust would have been blown away into the outer disk. When revising this topic, make sure you can explain the properties of the inner planets, for example, their high densities, in terms of the accretion model. The outer planets are large and formed from molecules with low melting points, such as water and methane. This is because the temperature was much colder in the regions further from the sun. In these regions, lighter elements would have been frozen solid. At this point, they would have been able to start clumping together. The concentration of light elements in the cloud would have been very high, so more material would have been available to form the outer planets. Once the light molecules started clumping together, they would become so large that even hydrogen and helium would be pulled in by their gravity. This is the reason the outer planets are so large and gaseous. When revising this topic, make sure you can explain the properties of the outer planets. For example, their low densities in terms of the accretion model. Let's try an example multiple choice question. Remember, these are worth one mark, so you want to try and complete these quickly. When a nebula contracts due to gravitational forces, the cloud cools down, stops spinning, becomes more spherical, or spins faster. Let's think about what we know. When a nebula collapses or contracts, the particles of gas and dust move faster and heat up. Therefore, A is incorrect. We know from the name accretion disk that it flattens into a disk. Therefore, it would not become more spherical. This leaves two options to do with the rotational speed of the cloud. Remember the spinning chair example? When you contract your arms inwards, you spin faster. 
This leaves option D as the correct answer. Aim to spend no more than one minute on a multiple choice question. Always read the options carefully and use your knowledge to eliminate incorrect answers one by one. In summary, the solar system formed from a rotating cloud of dust and gas. Gravity caused the cloud to flatten into a spinning accretion disk. Most of the mass was concentrated at the centre where the sun formed. The remaining mass became the planets and the other objects in the solar system. The gas and dust in the initial cloud was made from light and heavy elements which have different melting points. The inner planets are rocky because heavy elements existed as solids near the sun. The inner planets are small because heavy elements are produced in supernovae in small amounts. The outer planets are gaseous because light elements were able to exist as solids further away from the sun. The outer planets are large because the proportion of light elements was much higher than heavy elements. Don't forget to check out all of our other fantastic revision resources here at Save My Exams.